Yes, now it's a pressure water system that's being armed. This, they, they spray water into the flame trench to stop uh, shockwaves coming back from the engine to noise, damaging the belt. T minus one minute. Oxygen and liquid hydrogen fill and drain valves are closed. T minus 40 seconds, handing off to Atlantis' computers at T minus 31. T minus 35, 33. And we have had a failure. Grand lock sequencer.
what is I say? This kind of a large groaning noise inside the cabin. It's rough. People aren't seeing it. Atlantis now 15 miles in altitude, already 16 miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center, one minute, 40 seconds into the flight. Atlantis flexing its muscles one final time. Are they watching it? Atlantis traveling almost 2,600 miles an hour, 21 miles in altitude, 24 miles downrange, standing by for solid rocket booster separation. Booster officer confirms staging a good solid rocket booster separation. Guidance now converging. The main engine steering the shuttle on a pinpoint path to its preliminary orbit. Two minutes, 20 seconds into the flight. Atlantis already traveling 3,200 miles an hour, 35 miles in altitude, 50 miles downrange. So it's kind of, it's, it's pretty quiet. The propulsion the officer and, uh, reports the orbital maneuvering system one engines have ignited. Atlantis kicking on its afterburners for one minute, 23 seconds for the final phase of powered start, flight. Acceleration starts to build over the next six and a half Atlantis, two engine trial. That now means that they can get to Africa, to uh, Spain if they need to, if an engine fails. Um, so this, so now they, they've lifted up their visors, they can talk across the air path, but it's actually quite quiet. They're outside of the atmosphere, as you can see, it looks like space, basically from the camera outside. Um, and the only thing that you really realize is going on is that the, the main engines are just kind of barely perceptible in terms of sound, far, far, far behind you, below you, behind your back. And, uh, um, all there is really is just the noise of the fans, which are quiet, like computer fans. Um, and then over the next two or three minutes, as we go through these calls from the Capcom about where they can go to if an engine fails, uh, you start feeling more and more weight building up on your chest. And uh, eventually, at about the um, eight minute mark, you feel like, again like you have three people sitting on your chest. And it's a little bit hard to breathe, your throat's being pushed in. And anything you have to say, you have to say with an effort, you have to force it out of you. Uh, and at this point, you know, you, you're just fingers crossed, you, we're going to make it to orbit. Otherwise, you're going to go to you know, Europe or somewhere like that. <laughs> <laughs> and and uh, uh, let's see how it goes. <laughs> Sometimes, uh, I remember on my however, first flight. However, Atlantis' three engines performing perfectly. The uh, Velcro, some of the Velcro hasn't quite... Four minutes, quite 20 quite seconds into the check flight. The Velcro that go, suddenly when it's about two Gs or three Gs, goes... <laughs> <laughs> Atlantis currently traveling 5,500 miles an hour, 62 miles in altitude, almost 200 miles downrange. Four minutes of powered flight so remaining. The stuff you're seeing is mostly ice. Uh, it's coming off the tank. Atlantis speeding straight as an arrow toward its state with the International Space There's Station. There's no wind up there morning. now, so the stuff just floats away. Although because the shuttle's accelerating still, it leaves it pretty, you know, it'll initially come off at zero speed and then rapidly accelerate away because the shuttle's accelerating. Coming up on the five minute mark. Atlantis now traveling 6,500 miles an hour, 66 miles in altitude, 250 miles downrange. Atlantis, press to ATO. Press to ATO. That call indicating we can make minimal orbital targets in the event of an engine failure. All three engines continue to function normally. Atlantis will begin its slow roll to a heads up position shortly. Five and a half minutes into the flight. Atlantis traveling 7,700 miles an hour, 315 miles downrange. Atlantis, single engine, ops three. 